I wanted to share more about my own journey and why I am going to be getting comfortable gaining weight over the next few months. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health and your life. So over the next few months in the lead up to summer, I'm actually going to be intentionally gaining weight. I am going into a bulk phase or a muscle building phase. Now the reason for this is once you get to a point, body recomposition is no longer optimal. For a lot of you with where you're at, you can actually continue recomping for probably 12 months or longer and make really good progress in terms of fat loss and muscle gain. I've been through that process for a number of years now and it's no longer optimal for me. So I actually have to go through bulk and cut cycles to continue seeing change in my body. Now I know a lot of you are scared of gaining weight and gaining body fat and so I kind of want to share more of my journey as I progress through it to show you that it's actually not the worst thing in the world and the results that follow are worth it. I will keep you updated but I wanted to start off with explaining how I'm doing it and why I'm entering into this phase feeling comfortable about the scale going up. But first of all, when it comes to how I'm setting this up, I have been eating at maintenance for the past month or so. And so I am sure that my maintenance calorie intake is around 2,600 calories at the moment. And the reason for this is my weight has been staying stable at about 61 kilograms. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of going into a bulk and thinking they can just eat whatever they want and eat as much as they like. This will just set you up for a lot of fat gain. Yes, you will gain muscle as well, but you're going to gain excess fat when it's not actually necessary. When it comes to going into a calorie surplus for muscle growth, you don't actually need that many extra calories to achieve this. So I am going to be starting with a small surplus of 5% over my maintenance, and that is what I would recommend for you to start with as well. Then according to how you progress on that and how you respond, you might be able to keep pushing calories up. And I know from my own experience in the past, my metabolism adapts pretty easily. And so I probably am going to be able to push my calories even higher than 2750, which is the first kind of 5% increase. If I adapt to 2750, I probably won't increase by another 5%. I'll probably just increase by 100 calories. But it really depends on how I'm feeling, how my body is responding, how my training is going, how quickly my weight is increasing, all of that. You always have to be assessing progress and adjusting things according to progress. You can't really plan too far out in advance. But I am planning in advance in that I am committing to the process I'm not going to spend a few weeks and see the scale spike up and then jump back down. I'm going to keep pushing my calories up, knowing that if I can adapt to higher calories, I'm also going to be able to begin a cut on higher calories as well. Now, some of the other reasons I am more than comfortable gaining weight at the moment is first and foremost, knowing what I want. And for me, I want change, I want growth, I wanna build as much muscle as possible while I am relatively young and I can. Because the more muscle mass you have as you age, the better quality of life you're going to be able to have as you get older. So rather than focusing on what the scale is doing, I am using it as data, but I am overall committed to the process of growth, the process of change, and I'm committed to getting what I want. And I think if you go into any kind of transformation in your life, you have to remain committed to what you actually want and keep using that as your like driving force. So when I go into the gym and I can't be bothered training or I can't be bothered pushing myself hard, I have those days all the time. But in my mind, in the front of my mind is my goals and what I'm working towards, what I want. Now, another thing I want is to hit some new strength goals. Since I started doing all of this properly, I had big strength goals and I've recently achieved both of those with my squats and my deadlifts. And so I have set some new strength goals with squats and deadlifts because 
They're my favorite lifts. One of the nice things about being in a surplus is you're going to have that extra energy to put into your training and to continue pushing yourself to get stronger. Now you can get stronger at maintenance or in a deficit, especially when you're a beginner, but as you get more advanced, it's a lot harder. So I'm really excited to bring that extra energy to my training and get super strong. Even though I would call myself strong already, like you can always get better. Now the reason I like having strength goals as well is it kind of takes the focus away from your body. So I will be gaining muscle, but I will be gaining a little bit of body fat as well. Because my surplus is only small, that should minimize some of the fat gain, but it's still going to happen. And I am heading into summer. It is going to be bikini season here. I literally live two minute walk from the beach. I definitely won't be hiding my body while I gain weight. But what you have to understand as well is body confidence comes from within. It doesn't actually come from how you look. Yes, getting closer to your goals, losing some body fat, losing some weight, being happier with what you see in the mirror is going to help. Working on yourself overall is going to help, but at the end of the day, you need to do that inner work on yourself and that is going to allow you to love yourself whatever shape you are in. So I'm actually excited to challenge myself as much as I talk so freely and confidently about this and about gaining weight and being okay with it. Of course, I'll wake up some mornings and look at the scale and probably get freaked out by the number that I see but I'm not going to let that hold me back. Finally, and probably most importantly, the reason I am able to do this relatively easily now is that I have committed to playing the long-term game. And I just know my results are going to be so much better long-term by going through this like period of weight gain and potential discomfort. Yes, it is nice being lean year round, but if you wanna keep changing, then it's not really optimal. So I'm gonna stay focused on my strength goals, what I want long-term, knowing that I'm going to get there in the long run. I think that is really important as well, actually believing that you're going to get where you're going and visualizing in your head where it is you're going. So this is actually my second kind of proper bulk that I've been through. And I think again, like the experience of having gone through one already is helping me because it just gets easier to actually believe, even though I trust the science and I know the science and I know how it works, it still gets easier if you've done it yourself before to believe that you're capable of losing the weight that you gain and the results that you achieve in doing so are going to be worth it. Now, when I went through my first bulk, I was working with a coach and that also helped hold me accountable to kind of not freaking out over the scale and just going back to lower calories to kind of stop the scale from going up. So I'm still working with the same coach this time around. And even though we're kind of following the same steps and I could do it myself and I feel confident enough now to kind of not need that accountability, I like the fact it's there. It's like backup accountability, backup support if I need it and kind of just like having a coach. It's so much more convenient and easy for me. It saves me time, it saves me energy if I just have someone else telling me what to do and all I need to do is do it. That is all for this video. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. If you would like to see more, please hit subscribe. And if that is the case, I will see you in the next video.